Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the Crawligator, but first I'm just another twin mom. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment if you have a specific question. My email is also in the, in the notes below. Uh, so today we're doing a product review of, like I had up there to begin with, the Crawligator. So before we get into what the Crawligator is, I can go ahead and give you guys a little bit of the background of the product. So. This was created by Stacy Kohler. Uh, she is a mother and grandmother. Uh, she recently had a grandchild that prompted this actual product. So back in the 60s, there was a very similar product to the Crawligator that allowed babies to get a little bit of a better head start on crawling. And so because she had experience with that in the past, when she had a grandchild, she figured, hey, I should find this product again. They have to make this. So after doing some research, she found out that they no longer make this product. So she then figured, well, I really liked it back then and it really should be on the market. So she began doing her research. And after doing her research, she found that there's different codes that are in place, obviously nowadays versus back in the 60s. So she then created the current day Crawligator. And the Crawligator is now up to current code. So if you go to the notes that I have, in on this video you can click on it and go to the story and it will actually have a picture of what it used to look like um, and you can see that so after doing some more research and she created this she also created it with it being more broad than just hey I want to help a baby crawl it actually helps overall motor skills so this can be used for babies toddlers as well as children with special needs it helps with various things that help with the motor skills and much more of that is outlined in the story so make sure you guys check out the website for the crawligator so with that being said that has been the background of the business owner and the business itself and let's get into the features of this product okay so the crawligator as you can see is really a firm piece of plastic it's made out of plastic every bit of it's made out of plastic except for this pad so the pad is optional and so it actually at the base level comes as this piece of plastic like this um, and it costs $64.95 I think when we bought it um, and obviously since we have twins we have two I can go get that in a second and you'll actually get to see the twins using the crawligator at the end of this video so you'll get to see both of the crawligators so let's get into the features of this so like I said it's made out of plastic as, as the base and there are ridges that allow the child to actually lay on this so if you look at this this is the head this is the tail so their head would go here the belly would go here and their leg would go here other leg leg would go here other leg would go here arm arm head belly and there's a ridge to allow the kid not to rack out of it but more so to have some level of stability as they continue to crawl so that's what that looks like on the sides and the top let's look at the bottom of it so i also have pictures of both of them with this too so in the front there is a single wheel a wheel on each side where their belly would be and then there is a wheel that has two wheels at the bottom where the tail is to allow uh, the rotation and in the video you actually see my daughter rotate a little bit on it which is pretty cool so like i said this is the base this one this at the time cost 64.95 of course prices change so at the time this we paid for that the pad cost extra it is $4.95, $4.95. And I'm not completely sure what material it's made of, but it's not super thick. It's pretty thin. Um, and you just, it has Velcro. Take this, stick it on there for the head part. Stick part down here, stick it on there. And your child then has a pad to rest their head, their belly and it overlays a little bit for their legs. So that is the overall layout of this product. So we purchased obviously two of them. So this is my daughter's, this is my son's, and they both have the Crawligator 
marks on them separately and they're they're identical just different colors uh, so we purchased these to encourage them to crawl uh, my children were not very motivated to crawl in general because they were already in walkers and really interested in walking so the thought process behind that was let's encourage them to crawl so our living space does not have carpet so because it does not have carpet the floors are cold um, it's difficult to get grip and our play space that has uh, a mat and then our other play space that that has a rug is not big enough for twins like maybe one baby it could probably be a little bit of space but for two babies definitely would not be a space for them to crawl or really interact with each other while crawling and we like for them to be able to interact with that um, so you'll see in the video that they're both uh, <laughs> on their crawling eaters and having a good time it, it gives them a level of independence too right like when we're trying to encourage them to crawl usually there's prompts and ways for us to sit them up and set them up to be successful in crawling when you have the crawligator it allows the ability for the child to have some independence and be in that form to do so themselves so with twins specifically it is very difficult to manage both of them at once especially when you're trying to do playtime and encourage it and be you know enthusiastic about it this allows the ability to interact with both children at the same time even if you're by yourself so i did like that and yeah so that's basically why we purchased this and why we purchased two and not one uh, and also if you have twins typically if i let one twin play on it the other one's going to scream even if they don't want to crawl they're going to cry about it <laughs> because you let that baby play with it and not the other baby so that is why we decided to buy the crawl Let's talk about my overall experience and how I feel about the Crawligator. Do I think that the Crawligator is the reason why my son is crawling forward and my daughter is crawling backwards? I would say no. I think that the encouragement overall and different things we've been doing and most parents would do anyways, I think that is why they're doing it. But I do think that it encouraged them to be willing to do it in a different space so what i purchased is again absolutely uh, the customer service was really really good um we ended up reaching out to uh, to her about hey we got one crawligator not the other and at the time my daughter was not interested in crawling at all so my son was happy to somewhat try and at the time in the beginning with babies the tummy time and they're screaming and stuff like that but over time they got a little bit better um the second one came very shortly after that so it's not like we had a huge waiting period where where one baby was on the crawligator and the other one was not so good customer service good quality product and it gave a different view for the interaction for the kids so for us that is something that was important for us and like I said, in the play area, it would have been much more of a struggle. Another reason why we also got this too, I almost forgot to say it. In the walkers, because we don't have carpet, they are able to play together and, and go in a larger space. But with crawling in that play area, like I said, it was confined to the play area. At least with the crawligators, it gives an opportunity if you do not have carpet that they can go longer distances which I will say that is a big part of why I think my son is crawling forward because he's able to reach forward and continue to go forward. I think this encouraged it. I do think that the times they visited relatives and they, they had carpet that also helped with that, but the ability in itself to move over a longer track, essentially, uh, I think that that is critical and helpful in itself. So. If you're looking for something like that, I definitely recommend if your house is complete carpet and maybe you only have like the kitchen space or something that might not work for you. Uh, I, it maybe it, maybe you're looking for something shorter and you can control it. But if you have two babies, 
and your only space is your kitchen, I probably would not recommend that unless they're going to like grandma's house normally and that's who watch them, you know, and, and she's encouraging that and she doesn't have carpet or something like that or, or wherever they get care and that can be encouraged over a long span, even if it's not your house. So that would be my recommendation on that. But like I said, we 100% will purchase these again. This is not a sponsored video. It's just a product that we haven't seen really too much about and we figured we would give some notice about it I believe we bought it from Walmart but once again you can check the notes and click on the link and it will take you directly to the manufacturer site and so she can you can purchase from her website as well uh, both the pad and the actual unit so I think that wraps everything up so once again thanks for stopping by my channel I'm just another twin mom make sure you guys like subscribe leave a comment if you do have a crawligator and you have an experience you'd like to talk about or uh, maybe something I, I said you can elaborate more on with your experience please feel free to do so I think that it is good in the community itself to talk about these things um, especially if you have twins maybe one twin liked and the other one didn't my twins are pretty similar and they want to walk uh, so they're not super interested in crawling but you'll see in the video my son is crawling forward my daughter is crawling backwards so if if you think that your child needs to be stopped from crawling backwards i would say this product is not going to stop them from crawling backwards um, so they can and they can also move side to side and you'll get to see that in the video as well so anyways make sure you guys like subscribe subscribe comment thanks for stopping by and i will talk to you guys soon bye